Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is Kathy at Attic Treasures Etc. And I have a few things that I wanted to share with you today. So um, I got such a great response on my video about making a flow journal um, that I made for a swap. And because of that, I thought I would ask the question if anybody would like to see anything like that in my Etsy shop. And I got a lot of positive response for that. So I made two of them for my Etsy shop right away and they flew out of my shop almost as soon as I was done making them. So I have added a couple more and if you don't know what a flow journal is I would encourage you to watch that video. I'll have it linked at the end. I can't really open this to show you everything that's inside but suffice it to say that it is um, jam-packed. It's got scrapbook paper and cardstock and vintage ephemera. It's got some piano roll, pattern paper, just a whole bunch of stuff. And the reason I can't open it is that I would have to untie the buttons and then unpin and then pull it all apart and then put it all back together again. So nothing is permanently attached. So if, uh, if you had one of these, it's something that you could just pull things out of to use whenever you want to make a journal. So anyway, if this is something that you're interested in, I encourage you to uh, check out my shop. The link is in uh, the description to this video. And uh, I, you know, I, I hope you like it. They're a lot of fun to make, even more fun to use. And so each one is going to be slightly different, obviously, because the book pages that I have, there's only one page like that in a book. So it has book pages from the same books, but obviously not the same book pages. And the buttons are slightly different. Some of the laces inside are, are different. Well, actually, I think the laces inside this are all the same um, from journal to journal. Anyway, so check that out. These are flow journals, and they're new in my shop. And the other thing that I wanted to share is, do you have, do your friends know that you craft? Because mine do. And the other day, I got a text from a friend of mine who said, um, are you going to be home? Because I have a bunch of ribbon that I want to uh, drop off. And I said we were out running errands. She said she would leave it on my porch. And, I, and she dropped off this giant bag with all these ribbons and laces in it. And I was just absolutely overwhelmed with the variety of ribbons and laces. Some of the schools and, uh, I mean, they're not, not even open. I mean, there's fuzzy rickrack in here. I've never seen fuzzy rickrack before. And this uh, daisy, these daisy chains. And uh, like I said, I was completely overwhelmed. Some of the spools of ribbon are brand new, not even opened, like this one, brand new not even open. So I just thought, you know, if your friends don't know that you craft, you might want to put the word out because a lot of times people are cleaning out their closets or their rooms or maybe they're getting ready to move or maybe they're just not interested in sewing and doing that kind of stuff anymore and they're happy to pass it on to you. So be sure to let your friends know that you craft. I have another friend. I have the best friends. They're always giving me stuff. It's so awesome. I have one that saves cardboard for me from like cereal boxes and things like that. One whose um, stepdad uh, passed away a while back and he has a ton of vintage books. Um, and she's passed a lot of those along to me. And some of the pages from the little tiny books are in those flow journals. Okay, and then the third thing is, I told myself that February was going to be the month that I tried to finish things. And a while back, I made this journal cover um, out of some fabric that I didn't really like, but I love the way this cover came out. And it reminds me, uh, it seems very theatrical to me. So kind of like a night at the theater. And what I would like to do is to get started on filling this journal. And I have picked out some things that I want to put inside, but what I want to do today is to make a paper doll pocket. And I've seen lots of people do paper dolls um, in their for their journals, and I thought I would give it a try, and of course put my own spin on it. And so I have this front of a McCall's pattern, and uh, what I would like to do is cut out this gal right here 
and attach her to this piece of vellum that I've cut to fit on this page and then this is going to end up being a pocket so and then having this also helps me to know um, how big you know the limit of the size of paper doll that I can make so what I've brought along here are some scraps of book page and wrapping paper there's some scrap of lace, scraps of lace in white and there's some kind of a pink and then some black uh, just just a bunch of different stuff some leaves and um, oh this uh, butterfly wing that I cut half of half of it off so I thought I would just have a play and see what happens and the ones that I've seen on YouTube are so cute so I figure you know what if um, if they can do it I'm sure I can do it and if I can do it anybody can do it right so we're just gonna cut her out so we were very surprised yesterday to wake up to a foot of snow in our yard we live on an island that's not very big and um, I mean it's we can get to the mainland just by crossing a bridge so it's not like we're stuck out here you know dependent on the ferry or anything but um, the the weird thing is that first of all the snow is very heavy and wet and so our one the tree in the front yard was so heavy with the snow that it was interfering with the power line well you know we didn't have any power we also oh that was the other thing is that um, we woke up early and started the coffee brewing in the kitchen and went back to bed to kind of wait for it to finish brewing and while we were waiting all of a sudden there were these very very bright flashes in red and green and blue over and over and this loud buzzing sound and you know I jumped up and I opened up the curtains or the the blinds rather because I thought what in the world is going on you know I thought well, are we being you know attacked is there is there a cyber attack going on it's probably just a transformer blowing but right after the flashes happened and they were bright I mean they lit up the sky it was like it was daytime outside so as soon as the flashes stopped there was like total darkness so we had no power and we were right like I said right in the middle of a brew of coffee of course so well we don't have a generator but we have the next best thing we have a stovetop percolator I also have a stovetop espresso maker we have a gas stove and a gas fireplace and um, I even have a butane curling iron <laughs> from my days when I used to ride a motorcycle and um, you know you get somewhere and you take your helmet off and you got helmet hair really bad so I always had this butane uh, curling iron in my saddlebag that I could use to kind of repair my hair a little bit when I got to my destination very handy really helps in a power outage but anyway I was gonna do this video yesterday and I couldn't um, because we didn't have any power and no no way really to um, charge our devices or anything so I, I didn't get a video done yesterday oh so what I was gonna say that's so weird about the snow is we live on a tiny island and there was only snow on our side of the island other people that we know that live on the other side of the island didn't get more than an inch we got a foot I kid you not and it is snowing again <laughs> today so we'll see what happens or you know I, I don't know why it just seems so weird that we have such a different weather system on this side of the island than the other side of the island when it only takes maybe 15 minutes to go from one side to the other by car okay so she's cute all right what I want to do is uh, attach her to this and because I kind of want her to have sort of an art deco look I also found these um, stickers 
at Dollar Tree and they were so pretty. I bought like three sets of them. Each one was different. And I wanted to give her like this, put this on her head, sort of like a little hat. So um, I need to have room for that. Now to attach her, I am going to put her through my five inch Creative Station Zyron. I could use glue, but this is easier and quicker and I have it. So I'm gonna use it. And then the other thing I like about the Zyron is that it will allow her to be more evenly glued with no lumps. Now, I've never made one of these before, so I figure, well, if others can do it, I can do it, and if I can do it, anybody can do it. Now, I'm going to start with just kind of figuring out how long these need to be. See, I'd like it to be this long, but that's too long, obviously. So I'm going to tear off some of her some of this piece here. And this is wrapping paper. I'm just kind of layering just to kind of get a feel for how I want things to look and I'll come together and then I'll start once I have it sort of nailed down as to how I want it then I'll start gluing things. So I'm going to assemble the skirt without really attaching it to the vellum uh, to start off with, just so I can kind of figure out where all the pieces need to go. And I almost forgot one of the things that I wanted to do was to um, enhance the edges of all these pieces with gold. And I'm using... Um, called Dewdrop Brilliance and this is Galaxy Gold. I think I got it at Michael's, I can't remember, but I, I will try to find it on Amazon and post a link in the description below. But I wanna give her uh, some elegance. So I wonder how long it's gonna snow today. Yesterday it stopped snowing, um, oh, maybe mid-morning-ish. And uh, because the snow had been so wet that um, it started falling off the trees right away, which was really good because I was really not looking forward to having a tree fall on our roof. Now also the snow was, um, there, there was no wind, so that probably helped things. Today, though, the snow is much, looks much drier. I don't know if you've ever heard the saying, big snow, little snow, little snow, big snow. But that refers to, you know, how wet the snow is. So if it's really wet, it's going to be really big flakes. And it won't last long. But if it's dry... The flakes are uh, much tinier, so, and then, you know, the snow will stick. So little snow, big snow, big snow, little snow.
Okay, now I'm going to put a, um, a little staple just at the top, just to um, kind of hold, start holding everything together. And now I can trim around what will be her waistline. Okay, but she needs a bodice, doesn't she? So I was thinking I would use this um, as a little bodice. So I'm going to cut it off around here and then try to give a little bit of shape in here. that and that I am going to glue down so I'm going to just going to use a little art glitter glue <laughs> and to hold some of these pieces down I'm just going to use some washi tape take the skirt to my sewing machine and do a little bit of sewing on it. So I'm going to go do that right now. Uh, I'm going to turn the camera off for a minute and I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm super happy with the way this is turning out so far. And I also have some of this really antique looking uh, lace that I got in a grab bag. So I would like to just put some little snippets of this on. I'm just going to lay a few pieces on and then um, go sew over them so they don't fall off because I think it'll be better than trying to glue. Okay, so I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm ready to glue this on, but I'm not ready to be done. So, uh, probably... Oh, I don't know if I should use Fabri-Tac or our glitter glue. Well, we'll try Fabri-Tac first. Okay, excellent. I really like that. <laughs> okay. All right, so I have these um, pretty leaves that I thought would be fun to add on the bodice or on the, um, at the top of the skirt. So I'm going to do that. I, mean, I just want this to be the cutest dress ever. For her to go to the theater. Maybe it's an opera. Maybe it's a musical. She needs a little waistband. This is just some gold um, ribbon that I have in my scraps. 
So has everybody organized and decluttered their craft room for 2022? I did that last month and I am so glad I did because I find it so much easier to find things now and also to clean up after a project. Rosette on her shoulder and this and and this these are the the stickers from Dollar Tree I love them I think I'm gonna have to get more and then finally her crown she will be the most elegant one at the theater. I love this. <laughs> Get over just a tad. What do you think? Can you see? Okay, I absolutely love this. And this will end up being a pocket um, in my journal for uh, I'm sort of calling it the the drama queen journal I may change that name at some point but so far it seems to be sticking um, so anyway I hope you enjoyed this I think I will end up making more of these and it's just a fun way to use up some scraps and in, in ways that um, I had never used them before so Anyway, if you had fun and you think you'll try it yourself, please give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment um, to, to let me know if you liked it. And have a wonderful, happy, crafty day. Hopefully we don't lose our power while this is uploading. And I'll see you in the next video. Let the serendipity find you, everybody. Bye-bye.